Hi everyone. First and foremost, I just want to thank you all for participating in today's class. I know I was trying something new. That breakout room feature is something that most other online platforms allow you to do where you can put people in groups and have them work on questions together. Now, I knew it was experimental and I knew that it may have caused some issues or it may not have worked. But I thank you guys for, you know, trying it with me. The real reason I also wanted to do it was to foster more participation among you guys. I want you guys to be talking more and discussing things among yourselves in class. So I thought that would have been a good way to try to do that. But unfortunately, my poor computer can't handle more than three breakout rooms at a time. And also, the numbers of persons also put a strain on other persons' devices. And we had some issues with being able to join the rooms. Well. As I said, it was just an experiment, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do it again, but thank you for trying with me. Now, as promised, I'm going to go through the solutions to the question. So, in the diagram here, it is a bearings question, and you have to read the question carefully. It says, a ship leaves port A and sails 52 kilometers on a bearing of 44 degrees to port B. The ship then changes course to sail to port C. 72 kilometers away on a bearing of 105 degrees. The first thing we must do is fill in any information. The 44 degrees should go here because this represents the bearing from A to B. The 105, 105 degrees should go here as this is the bearing of C from B and the distances should go here where you have 52 kilometers and you have 72 kilometers here so once you've labeled correctly you should get some marks now the next question is asking us to figure out this angle here i'll put it in red so you guys can see the angle a b c and i'm I can't find this angle by just sight. I must do some prior working to work out this angle. Now what I would do first is try to work out the angle here at B. And you should remember that the angle at B and the angle at A are supplementary. So if I take 180 degrees and I take away the 44 degrees, I should get an angle of 136 degrees which should go here now that I know these two angles the remaining angle is easy enough to find you just subtract both of these from 360 so if I take 360 subtract I remember you add up the two 136 degrees plus 105 put that in the calculator and you should get an angle of 119 degrees, which should go right here. So that is part two completed. So now we move on to part three, which asks us to calculate the nearest kilometer, the distance AC, and that would be this line here. Now I'm gonna label this unknown side A, and I believe I will be using the cosine rule because I have an angle and they have two sides and the angle is in between these two sides okay so we're going to use the cosine rule in case you forget what it is remember it is a squared equals to b squared plus c squared take away open bracket 2 times b times c times cosine of the angle okay so once you do that, you can label your size accordingly. I'm going to call this side with the 52B and I'm going to call this side with the 72C. So let's plug in our values. I know that B is 52, 52 squared plus 72 squared. Take away 2 times 52 times 72 times cosine of 119 degrees all right now I'm going to work it out in stages the left hand side 
let me do my calculations for these two that should give me seven thousand eight hundred and eighty eight take away now that's why I put this part in brackets all the time because this part here on the on the right is going to give me negative three thousand six hundred and thirty point two five to two decimal places all right remember a negative and you're taking away you're taking away a negative that this becomes positive so overall my answer for a squared is going to be this large number and of course to get a I must square root the number above square root my answer from above and that will give me a value of a hundred and seven kilometers and you must remember to keep it as the nearest kilometer so no decimal places okay otherwise you will lose marks carelessly now the last question says show that the bearing of a from c to the nearest degree is 260 degrees i'm going to clear this part of the, the screen so that i can get more space for working i'm also going to write 107 here so that we have it here for reference so give me one moment so the screen is clear let's see if we can get this figured out so the bearing that they're asking us to solve is this angle here starting at the north line remember the north line represents zero degrees and we're going to turn clockwise until we are in the direction of a so we are turning all the way around till we get to this point here we want to work out this entire angle in red now the reason this question is three marks is because it may involve some working the first thing we probably should find is this angle here i'll put it in blue And we also should probably try to find this angle in here by knowing these two angles I can then subtract from 360 to get out this angle here in red all right so for this one here in blue I must remember the same working applies this angle the 105 and this angle here are supplementary so I would write 180 and I could take away the 105 degrees and that will give me an answer of 75 degrees going in this particular spot here now to work out this angle here inside of the triangle I have to use somewhat some kind of trigonometry and I probably would use the sine rule to figure out this angle inside so if you remember your sine rule I'm gonna put sine of the unknown angle over the side the opposite side which is 52 equals to sine of a known angle in this case I use the 119 that we worked out earlier over the opposite side which is the 107 kilometers now I would cross multiply the 52 with the right hand side leaving me with sine of the angle equals to and I can put this all in brackets sine 119 over 107 multiplied by 52 and that should work out to approximately 0 0.4250 it's good to keep four decimal places when dealing with angles and sine so this is sine of the angle now to get the angle itself remember I must use the inverse function so I would press shift or second function on my calculator put in the 0 0.4250 and that will give me the angle that I desire which is 25 degrees so this 25 degrees is going right in here all right 
So if I know that this side is 75 and this angle inside is 25, then I can always take away from 360. So 360, take away 75, take away 25, and that tells me my answer is 260 degrees. They wanted the working for it. They already gave you the answer, so we had to show these steps to get the full marks. I hope this short video helps you guys understand the question that you were doing in class. If you have any further questions, you can leave them in the comments below, or you can send me an email or message on the Google Classroom. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Now if you enjoyed that video, feel free to like and share it with your friends. You can always visit us at knowledgegrow.com where you can look at our full list of services that we offer to secondary and high school students. Here's also where you would come to browse our full catalog of featured videos as well as sign up for any of our reasonably priced online courses. My name is Kevin and I thank you for watching and I hope we meet again.